if you've ever used the Solid Edge 2D um, schematics tools, you'll probably have come across the ability to group a number of elements together and create a block from them. And this is really useful for um, just dropping in um, extra copies of the um, set of data that you want to um, show that depicts a battery or a um, diode or whatever it is that you want to work with. But did you know that you can use it in the 3D environment as well? So here we have a um, RHS. And if you're doing a lot of this sort of work, you may uh, want to recreate that profile um, time and again. So if you've got a um, sketch that's in a um, you know, standalone sketch, um, you can actually just go in and edit the profile. And you know, you've know you done the work. It's not that complex, but it does take a little bit of time. So let's say that we'll um, create this as a block. So if we use Control A to select all the elements, go to the block command and um, accept the geometry then define the input uh, for the origin as being in the center and we'll just call this rhs and accept that so if you haven't seen where this is stored um, if you go across um, if we unpin that you'll, you'll you'll quite often have these icons down the left hand side you may have come across the um, family parts but um, what we want to look at is the feature library and you point that to the folder um, that you're interested in. So actually we've we've created this in the um, current file. So it's it's got the list of that block in here. So if I wanted to reuse it, I could just drag it back in and um, sort of place another copy of it. And when we close out of here, we can then just use that and create our profile now if you want to reuse that in a new file how do we go about it so um, if you've shut down and reopened it won't show anything in the um, feature library blocks area so how do we find that so if we go in and create a new sketch and create a custom plane we can go to our feature library, pin it out for the moment. Um, although it's showing that that's available in the active document, we know that we've just created this, so that won't be there to be reused. So you just go and select the file that has that block in it, and um, then you'll see that we can just then drag that in and place it where we want to. Um, if we want to edit these sizes, it's um, obviously blocked, so we can just right mouse click and go unblock or select unblock from up here. And then we're free to um, change the sizes that we want. And if you've sort of defined it reasonably well, um, these values should update um, quite easily. Um, if you want to move it, then you can just use your move command. And reposition it to the center and there you are ready to go now if you've got um if, if you want to create an actual library of of um, profiles um, there's nothing wrong with just going into creating multiple sketches within the one document and then you can um, just use um, that by selecting the document from the block library and um and then once you click on that it will show you all your options within the list down the bottom and then you can just drag in the one that you're after so that's how you can use a block library in the um, 3d environment